Hey guys, I record in 3D here. This is my third time shooting this video because of my computer lagging. But, you know, whatever happens, happens. Basically, this is a uh, tutorial on how to make an animation in Photoshop. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I'm making a, another version of this video right here because I'm getting all kinds of comments coming in about the lag, which I know was a huge issue. Um, the computer was full, um, the memory was full, so. I mean, I just bought a new computer, backed all that stuff up on a hard drive, and got all the important stuff on this computer. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up Photoshop, and you're going to uh, open up the photo you want to animate. You're going to unlock it. I'm using a picture of a basketball, because basketball is bounce, animation. I guess you guys can see the correlation. So I'm going to remove this background by using the magic wand tool, unlocking the background layer, um, selecting the white and pressing backspace to make it background image, or so make it so the basketball moves freely when I select it. Click Control D to get rid of those lines. And I'm using the move tool to make sure it's just the basketball moving. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new project file make it smaller than the one I had in the previous video let's see width let's go 600 height let's go 400 now this is the frame that I'm going to be animating I'm going to enlarge this by click, uh, holding control and clicking the plus I'm take this basketball and move it over to this frame I don't have control zero because that's uh, a little too big I'm going to hold control and press T to transform this basketball, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to drag this corner in to make it smaller. I'm going to use this move tool to apply the transformation to get this basketball back in the frame. I'm going to unlock this background layer by double clicking on that lock and pressing OK. You can actually double click anywhere on the layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Window, select Animation, and yours may show up like this, which is the timeline. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the bottom right of that uh, little toolbar. You're going to click Convert to Frame Animation, and it'll show up like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click No Delay on the first frame by clicking this little arrow, clicking No Delay, and let's get started. Oh, let's not do that. Control Z with the layer with the thing you want to animate selected. You're going to move it off the frame or wherever you want it to start. And you're going to click this little button here that duplicates the layer. Now you're going to have two layers. You're going to select the second one. You're going to move whatever you're going to animate onto the screen. Now it's right here. And you control zero this again to get it back into visible frame. And it's going to look like this. That's how the basketball balances in. Like this. You can hold down control and select both of these layers. You're going to click this button, which is the tween tool. You can put 15 layers in between just so it flows smoothly. Select the first layer and click play, just to make sure everything is going the way you want it to. Now, you're going to go to this last layer, click the duplicate button, and you're going to make sure this is the same layer. doesn't move at all. You're going to move it to wherever you want it to be. Now you're going to do the same exact thing. Actually, I'm going to move it higher because the more frames lag here it gets. I'm going to hold control, select both the layers, use this tween tool once again. Now I'm going to click play, see where it gets me. It gets me to the top of that frame. I'm going to select this frame, use this duplicate button again, and I'm going to move it down here, down off the frame, because I want this to be a quick video. Now you're going to control click, tween again, and you're going to play it from the beginning. Now you select the first layer, click play, bounces in, bounces up, bounces back down and out of the frame. Perfect. Now to render this or to save it, you go to save for web and devices, you're going to save it as a GIF. G-I-F. Wait for this to load, colors, everything, just leave as default. And if it's not default, just you know match it to mine or whatever you want. There's actually some presets here too. Um, the higher the number, the um, 
bigger the file size and the higher the quality, I believe. Not too sure. I'm going to click save. Save it to desktop. Save it, whatever you want to save it. I'll call it bouncing basketball. And click save. Now, saving to your computer. Save perfectly. Previous video took about 8 minutes to do that. Now you can open the picture. Opens in this. And it's going to save as a bunch of frames. However, if you open Photoshop back up, shouldn't have done that. Um, you can save for web and devices instead of a GIF. You can uh, not save as web and devices. Click save as. And. This doesn't work either. Previously, when I saved for web and devices, it didn't do this. I guess you could render as a video, so go to File, Export, Render as Video, or whichever one I clicked, and it'll render it just like um, when you're in the Sony Vegas or something, and it renders as a video. It's going to save as a QuickTime movie, which is fine. And I'll have it save to my desktop just for the purpose of this video frame rate 60 fps that's fine I believe this is what filmmakers use 23.976 24 is that rounded up I'll use 60 because whatever render is a quick time movie click render Alright, now this renders a movie here on your desktop. You can open it up. Open up QuickTime Player. Here it is. Click play. And it bounces in. Now, that was a second long. You can adjust that by making the delay on this, I don't know, 0.1 seconds. And making those all 0.1 seconds. And that'll make it longer. Um, you can basically make that however long you want it to be. And that is all for how to make a uh, animation in Photoshop. And basically the follow-up video. This will be posted as an annotation on the other video. And I'll post an annotation on this video for how to do that in Photoshop CS6. Well, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment, thumbs this video up. Um, just let me know what you think about it. Any questions, be sure to comment and I'll get back to you if I have an answer. If not, I'll try to look for one for you. Alright, well thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate it very much. Alright, thank you.